Exertion has the perfect position in order to hold the gap for sandbags. You're going to see him position like this, then stand up. Then he could spot to see if anyone comes through from sandbags. However, Hobbit has a heads up play and ducks underneath the gap, which then Exertion cannot spot him. That was a heads up play from Hobbit. JKS is going to molly a nade window, then he jumps up into apartment silently. However, the step that he makes before jumping up will make a noise. It's a cool strafe into window, however, the step that he takes before makes the noise and you'll hear that from Martinez's POV. Apparently there is a way to silent jump on top of this window balcony. You need to use a jump crouch bind which I will put down below in the description. The keyboard clicks that you are seeing on screen is actually different. So this person is using S to move forward instead of W. So they're using SZXZ. He does speak in this clip in Mandarin. However, I don't understand Mandarin and I have no clue what he's saying. If anybody could translate this in the comments, I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to let the clip play out here so you can see how he's doing it. Perfecto from behind Newbox is going to throw a one-way smoke that lands between the fountain and second oranges, then gets on top of fountain to peak top banana here, which gives him a nice little off angle one way to work with. He also has a gap here between the fountain and the smoke as you see there. The T's will not expect this off angle peak. Rain has this nade set where he's going to smoke a moto from half wall, then he's going to throw these flashes. And they're way better than the other one as you'll see Jerry runs into a wall. That's how blind he is. This Inferno boost on B is probably the most meta boost on this map in the pro scene. I probably see this boost at least once a match. It's used when teams have a safe rifle. It's a good off angle to get the early advantage. Here's a free frag if you plan on playing retake. Have two players coffins, boost in the back, see all the smoke, get one frag then fall off and wait for your team after. You need to use this flash for your BXQ. This is probably the third time I've shown this, and this is probably the best example of the flash, where you stand in the corner of the board, aim below the chimney with the tip of the flash, then jump throw. What makes this flash so good, it's gonna blind multiple positions, and then it's not gonna blind your teammate entering in. Next time you're executing B, use this flash. Another really meta utility used in the pro scene is this top banana smoke which we see Dexter throw that I've shown a couple times and then it gives you a one way if you go on top of car where Frozen gets a frag onto Naphne. Top mid was thrown from CT spawn then Zorty is going to get run boosted through the smoke where he goes through the smoke, peaks mid, gets the frag on the Brokey then falls back safely. Brokey's not going to expect this because when do you ever see a CT go through like this? If you have a teammate sandbags in your coffins, this is the flash you want to throw for them. We see Perfecto set up Electronic for the 2k. You do have to look away from the flash initially as you saw Electronic did at the beginning. New way to molly behind half wall, you're going to stand at the beginning of the doorway, aim here towards the bottom left of the window, then left and right click jump throw. Really awesome dual play here from Robs and Twist who push underpass, Robs throws a smoke then gets inside of it, Twist has this lineup from the cubby, throws it for Rops, who goes through the smoke and gets a free one on a blind MPL. A cross smoke from T roof positioned with this mark on the wall, put your crosser like this, then left click throw. As you know, this smoke does not cover both sides. It does cover the left side and does leave a little of a gap towards the right. Chopper makes a great play by moving towards the back wall, crouching and looking down as he advances. Then he tucks himself into this corner and Device will walk by not knowing that Chopper was in this position. You can see Device is holding to see if anybody crosses and just barely misses Chopper. Matches has a really cool top mid HE nade when window is smoked off. He's going to aim there, then moves left and then jump throw. MPL from Sandwich is going to smoke top con by aiming here then jump throw. Just a heads up it does take a long time to bloom. Sheer has a flashes from bottom ramp where he tucks himself and ducks in the corner, puts his crosser here, then jump throw. The other time where you've probably seen these flashes is paired up with the jungle smoke that players are using the marked outside ramp to line up. Did you know that if you go towards this right wall and tuck yourself in like this, the CTs cannot spot you from market. 
It's a very cheeky angle if the CTs don't physically hard clear you like JDC doesn't do here which cost Mouse the round. Nefi tries to trick FaZe Clan by throwing a ramp Molotov off the wall to make it appear that he mollied ramp, however he uses it to go and push, however does not clear his corner. The best way to get into window without being detected is to have your teammate smoke window and then you instantly going inside of window which then you can't be spotted. The issue when you try to boost inside window or go into window when the smoke is already up is if any CTs are spotting the lamp. This is a counter to that play because it's just so quick and the CTs are most likely not holding in advance. If you want to smoke jungle and flash your teammate out, you could do so from top mid like OC does here with this jump throw and then he backs up and then throws a flash over the wall which blinds the CT stare setting up a leash for the entry frag. If you want to see this tactic, the link is down below in the description. Robs is going to take AMA control by flashing himself in. He stands to the left of the doorway, puts his crosser like this, then right click and jump throw. Brokey also throws a support flash. Once he's in A main, he's going to position like this while standing throws the lurk smoke with a left click throw, then moves over and bounces a molly towards the fountain. Here is the upper rugs flash that Brokey throws at the same timing that Robs throws his flash. Faze have an A execute lineup from inside A main if they're ever smoked off. And here is a lineup for the sight molly and a sight flash. Brokey has these really nice A flashes where he positions inside the crevice of the doorway, aims at the mark on the wall while duck, then jump throw. These flashes are super good because they only blind the CTs and not your teammates entering. So I've shown this in the past that you can actually wall bang this wood wall here on bridge and spam the T's as they cross. But did you know you could also spam it from the other side which we see Zywoo connect onto Kerrigan. This is a common CT mid push from FaZe where they smoke one side and push through with flashes. Madden has a rune molly that he's going to throw by standing in front of this brick here after smoking mid. He's going to aim at the bottom right of the window then presses his run throw bind. He throws his molly as his team push out B main. It's going to push away from any T's watching B from that side. I seen Diha throw this heaven one way smoke against ATK. You're going to stand in the middle of this wall, then put your crosshair like this, and then go ahead and left click throw. The smoke will land on the bricks below heaven, and then you have a nice one way to spot towards A main. Krat is going to try to get run boost across B main to allow Zorti to set up for the off peak. However, he misses the run boost and says forget about it, I'll just jump over. He does get tagged, but more importantly Zorti does able to capitalize with that. Elish at the start of the round is going to rush inside the corner of Elbow where he has a smoke lineup like this that's going to put out the CT's Molotov giving him a nice little one way which Pain Gaming are not aware that it does. The reason why the Pain Gaming players don't think it's a one way smoke is because they probably think it's a normal smoke to put out the Molotov. We're gonna watch Madden and see how he defends B when G2 rush him up banana. So first he just throws standard Molotov and Flash and he gets over to Long where he spots a couple players and he throws a defensive smoke Long here. Then he focuses attention towards Short and shuts down the player Hunter and then he's going to wait for his team. This smoke prevents G2 from fully taking Long control and in return it's going to help Ents retake B successfully. One of the best positions for T side oppers at the start of the round is on top of this boost box which Monarchy uses to peek long and kill some Pius then his team will rush up banana. This is a very strong position as it allows you to see long as well as it gives you an off angle peek and here we see it again in a different round where Monarchy uses the same peek. In return sometimes CT oppers will plan on holding this from the start which we see simple do all the way back there towards long. In return, this is a counter to the counter that Simple's using. Depending on the smoke long, you could boost towards the right of the wall, which we see both teams do here, getting a frag. Really smart play bait switch setup here from G2 and Nico as he sprays the smoke and then backs up. Then Monacy will take his place. Madden probably doesn't think there's an op holding, and Monacy gets the freebie. Lado is going to throw two smokes, first he's going to smoke off temple, then he has his smoke for deep donut aiming here, runs forward and jump throw. Zero Zero Nation will use his smoke to block off one side of donut while they take donut control. This AXQ I cover on my second channel Nate's out here, I'm going to link it down below in the description. 
really nice nade set for BXQ from Brokey on top of the box. And you're probably wondering where are the overpass, nuke, and vertigo tricks, Nart? This video would have been way too long, so I put them in a separate video come out later this week. Don't miss it. Make sure to subscribe to see it. Till next time, Nart out here. Peace.